Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community. Today's video is coming up right after this. Cut, 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 cut. We have been through this so many times. Does nobody listen to me? Are you not listening to me? This isn't authentic mental health anymore. Stop with the intro, please. Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to The Rewired Soul. Today, I want to talk about how anxiety affects my life. So for those of you that don't know, I'm 24 years old and I've been suffering from anxiety and depression since the age of 15. Now, of course, through those years of suffering from anxiety and depression, I've had really good years, but I've also had really, really bad years. And over the years, I've learned to dealt with the good days and the bad days, and I've learned to accept that there will be bad days. At first, I couldn't understand. I was thinking to myself, what, why can't I get out of bed? Why am I not motivated to do anything? I'm not normal. How I'm feeling isn't normal. It's not right. Maybe there's something wrong with me. But over the years, I've learned that's not the case at all. I've learned in the years of suffering from anxiety and depression, how to deal with my emotions a lot better. And you can too. One of the first things I want to talk about is as soon as you accept how you're suffering, the process of suffering from anxiety becomes a lot easier. You'll start to understand how you feel a lot more. You'll start to understand what is happening in your life, why you can't do certain things. And as soon as you accept that, it takes some pressure off what's going on inside here and inside here. In my experience, as soon as I accepted that I was suffering from anxiety, things became a lot easier. I didn't have so much pressure on myself to search and look for answers. And I didn't think anymore that I wasn't normal because I knew now what I was suffering from. But to this day, I still suffer from anxiety. And I wanna talk a little bit about how anxiety affects me now. So my anxiety makes me question everything, every decision I make. So I might have gone down the road to the shops and I'm questioning myself. Why, why did I do that? Did I make a fool of myself? Was people looking at me in the shop? Did I have something on my back? on my clothes, on my clothes dirty? Was my hair done correctly? I just question absolutely everything and I don't know why. Like, why am I thinking about those things? But that's how anxiety affects me. I question every decision I make, everything I say to people, everything I post online, every YouTube video I make, I'm constantly questioning myself and worrying about what I've done, what the outcome might be. My anxiety also doesn't allow me to do certain things. But going back to what I said before, when I first suffered from anxiety, it really got me down that I couldn't do certain things like, for instance, go to the cinema. I would just cry in my room for days and think, why, why can't I do this? And I'd try and push myself and try and do too much and try and go to the cinema, force myself to go to the cinema, but it would only make my anxiety and my depression worse. But now I know what triggers my anxiety, and now I know what situations, places, and people to avoid my anxiety becoming extremely high and me becoming severely depressed. In my experience, time is great for helping me understand and find out what I can and can't do, what makes me anxious, what makes me depressed, what doesn't. And I know it's not a fantastic answer, but within time, you will learn to understand yourself. You will learn 
your anxiety. So that is how anxiety affects my life. Let me know in the comments section down below how anxiety affects your life. If you want to head over and check my YouTube channel, Authentic Mental Health, the links are in the description box down below. Don't forget to like this video, comment how anxiety affects your life, and don't forget to subscribe to The Rewired Soul and Authentic Mental Health. Thanks a lot guys and girls, and take care, and we'll see you in another video.